back after a, <laughs> a little bit of a Wi-Fi problem there. I was trying to connect the extender and I, I, I uh, connected to the other Wi-Fi network in between, thinking that it would just kind of switch over, but uh, instead it actually just like disconnected, so I had to reconnect. But we are back and we're still in the same battle that we were before. Um, can you remember what he said he was gonna send out, but we're just gonna stick with Articuno now. Oh, it's a Needle Queen, okay. Yeah, because he had switched out earlier. Alright, gonna take him out with one Razor Leaf. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe two. Alright, he's going for Double Team. I was about to say, it's, got, it's gonna make it miss, I know it is. <laughs> Whirlwind, wow. I'm amazed how many, uh, how many enemies have been using Whirlwind in this randomizer. Like, in battle. Or like, you know, in trainer battles, where they, where it actually doesn't do anything. You got me! Um, let's see, yeah, we were going down this way. Alright, I believe it is up to the left, like up and left over here is where we... I'm gonna go ahead and use this Max Repel just so we can get it out of our box. Plus it'll be nice to get some, uh, take some steps without actually getting into a uh, Pokemon battle. Okay, so maybe we actually have to go over to the other side. Is Victory Road too tough? Nah, I got a guidebook with me, so not really. <laughs> Ooh, Psychic Squirtle, sending out Dab, so Psychic against Psychic. Yes, I'm back. Uh, yeah, so I had tried to connect to my other internet, um, or like my other, you know, Wi-Fi, so I could grab the extender from one of my other rooms and move it into this room, and whenever I connected to the other one, it just immediately dropped the stream, and I still couldn't get it uh, to connect the Wi-Fi extender for whatever reason, so I'm just gonna mess with that next stream, uh, tomorrow. Uh, just gonna stick with, um, the regular one tonight. Which, maybe switching to the, um, like, the actual router and not the Wi-Fi extender might? I mean, it has lower connection, but maybe it'll actually make it not skip? I don't know. We'll see if we keep getting those, uh, messages about the skipping. Alright, I'm gonna hit this guy with a Nightshade. But yeah, I'm assuming right now it might be okay, like no skips. But, um, yeah, let me know if you see some skips, or, uh, and I'll let you know if I see that, uh, little error pop up again. Not really error, but, you know, the little warning, like, hey, you're, uh, you're, uh, skipping some frames here. Ooh, dug a hole. Um, I don't know why I'm afraid that dig will do a lot of damage. I'm gonna switch out to Articuno just to be safe, though. I don't even know what dig's base damage is, but um, I feel like it always ends up doing more than I thought. Okay, it's pretty good now. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Yeah, honestly, on my Wi-Fi extender, um, whenever I took it out of the the socket to put in to this room had like a red light on it, so I'm wondering if that may have uh, had to do with the problem. It was also very hot, like to the touch, like I picked it up and I was like, jeez, it's on fire. So it might actually do me some good to just unplug it tonight, <laughs> let it just sit and rest, cool off a little bit, and then plug it in right before my stream tomorrow. Let's see what this TM is, Roar, we really don't need that, I'm pretty sure it just ends the battle. And yeah, we'll toss it. Wait. Okay, there he goes. <laughs> I must have just pressed B on accident. Okay, so nothing over this way other than that item. So we're just gonna go take the stairs here. We'll go ahead and battle this guy. Come on, I'll whip you. Like, literally, you're gonna... Oh, yeah, he... I was about to say, he's probably a tamer, so he probably does have a whip. He's legitimately going to whip us. Alright, send in the Dabinator, um... See, Nidoran's 
fire type. So let's go ahead and switch out to candle. Yeah, I feel like between candle, dab, and um, cat lover, the elite four is not going to be anything to worry about. We're of course going to buy a bunch of full restores before we go in. Or do we already... We may have already bought some. I know we bought a lot of full heals, but I'm not sure about the full restores. Alright, uh, we'll go with another sidekick. Yeah, I haven't seen the uh, frame skip notification come up, so we might actually be good now. We, we might be good. It's just so weird, though. It may just be a problem with the Wi-Fi extender, but it seriously has, like, one or... I think it's, like, two bars connection to the other, like, the actual router itself. Yet... Oh, it's not gonna be... It's gonna be not be very effective. Um, yet my Wi-Fi extender, it had full connection, and we had problems with it. I, I don't know what's going on there. I'll have to look up, um... Like, find out what the uh, the name of the Wi-Fi extender is, and then look up, like, red light and see what that means, because... I don't think about it, that red light's actually been on there for a while. It wasn't like that when I first got it, but it's been like that for a while. Now, the whole reason I got it is because, uh, in my room, I mean, even the people that came out and, like, you know, helped set everything up, was like, yeah, in that room specifically, uh, you know, I've, I've been out here before, uh, whenever someone else lived here, and, uh, they always complained about problems with that room specifically. I was like, oh, okay, great, of course it's in my room. Uh, so I got the Wi-Fi extender, and it actually did help. Um, yeah, I just got to wonder where I would try to use, uh, like, I was never able to play online games in my room um, ever since I moved in because I would start the game and then it would end up cutting out. Or even starting a movie. I'd start a movie and it would end up cutting out. But uh, now I, I hardly ever have that problem. Actually, I never have that problem. It never uh, just cuts out in the middle of you know playing a game or watching a movie. Alright, this is... Well, let me consult the guide really quick. I think this is the room where we can go up to uh, Moltres. Ooh, Scyther. I love Scyther. Um... Oh, wait, we need to go from... Wait, where are we at right now? I'm consulting the guy real quick. Um, so we are... Just went through B, so it came out right here. Okay, yeah, we're on the right track, guys. All right, now I can't remember what typing site there was, but we're gonna go ahead and Mega Drain. Oh, means it needs to be put closer to the router. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Thanks for letting me know. That that would make sense. Um. Yeah, because it is pretty far away, and there's like multiple walls in, betwe in between, so that would make sense. Um, the room I'm in now, though, is closer, and, you know, I haven't, I haven't really had many problems with connections too much in this room, so the fact that we moved in here might help. I just don't know what its problem is right now, because, uh, yeah, it kept, it kept connecting, but it would say connection with no internet or something like that. You know, like the most annoying, uh notification or the most annoying annoying thing that you can see whenever you're trying to connect is oh yeah it's connected you don't have any internet though but it's connected all right so he's grass type so some of the sky attack we don't use sky attack often enough honestly all right this should one shot him i'm pretty sure yeah there we go nice nice yeah, I'm still not seeing any update, or, um, is there any problem with the frame skipping or anything? I feel like just switching to the other one may have helped it. It was, uh, you know, the Wi-Fi extender's fault. Um, yeah, we'll go out the candle again so we can use Sky Attack.
It's great. Oh, okay. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, this, um, the new software I'm using, like, the other one I was using, it never told me that there was a problem with it. I just would notice it when I'd look back on videos. But, um, yeah, I just, I don't know why I didn't think to, um, I guess I assumed I was actually connected to, uh, the actual router and not connected to the extender. Um, but I guess this entire time I had it set to connect automatically to the extender. So it wasn't even giving me a choice, it was just automatically connecting to the one that may have been causing issues. Man, that's awesome to know. Yeah, that's awesome to know. Because I seriously, I looked up a pretty good amount of stuff on uh, frame skipping on streaming. And, uh, you know, even people with, um, it's weird, even people that had a, uh, wait, is he water type? Even people that had, like, full-on computers, like, I'm just using a laptop, but people with computers were having issues as well. I was like, man, if they're having issues with computers, what's my laptop gonna do? But, uh, we may have figured out the problem. Okay, hit him with another Mega Drain. That should give us a lot more health. Ooh, yeah, almost all, almost all the way healed. Rolling Kick. That's a move I forget is even a move in this gen. That Rolling Kick is just not a move that I think of very often. So many fighting type moves in this gen. I swear he was trying to learn Amnesia before, or at least another mod was, because I was making the joke, like, how do you, how do you learn Amnesia? Like, you're literally learning to forget something. Oh, pff. I messed up. There's B, and then A. Okay, there we go. Alright, so yeah, once we go through here, there should be a Moltres just sitting right over here, and there he is. Let's see what this item is first. Revive. Ah, uh, we can't even. Can't even use that. Not in a Nuzlocke. There's no reviving. Once they're dead, they're dead. Alright. Um, my prediction, or not my prediction, but my hope is that this is randomized to a Mewtwo. My prediction is that it's Zapdos. Yow! Oh man, I've been waiting for this. It is Zapdos! Oh, okay, nice. Not what I was wanting, but my prediction was correct. Well, this leaves me with the predicament of... I'm pretty sure he's also Grass-type, just like... Um, just like our Articuno. So... Because of that... Um... I don't know if we need another grass mod, but he's level 50. I mean, come on. And, and he knows solar. Alright, gonna hit him with a sky attack. It should do a lot of damage. Ooh. Okay, that's a crit. Not very effective. Nice. Sky attack missed? Are you serious? Oh, okay. Let's try that again. Uh, but then I'm gonna switch to Articuno. I'll use uh, Sleep Powder and see if we can catch him with, an, uh, with a couple of uh, Ultra Balls. But I mean, honestly, once we defeat, and that did like nothing to him. <sighs> okay, yeah, um, we almost lost Mew right there. I'm gonna switch out to Cat Lover, because since we're both grass, he's, he's not gonna be able to do much to me. Those, those crit vice groups are, though, jeez. Okay, I'm going to throw a Hyper Potion on him. I keep forgetting he's level 50, and his stats have got to be just insanely good right now. Every time we've taken on Zapdos already, he was just like a random encounter in a, in a cave or something. Gosh, he keeps getting crits. He must have insane speed. Okay, honestly, um... Like I said, I mean... The only reason I would keep a Master Ball is if we ran into a Mewtwo. That was actually our encounter. But we're about to finish Victory Road. We're gonna do the Elite Four, and then after that, I mean, we beat the game. So, Master Ball. Cannot fail. And congratulations, we got Zapdos on the team. And it only seems fitting to name him after Pixie. Pixie the Zapdos. And this is probably going to go, like, once we get to the Elite Four, we're going to take Thicker off of our team because we don't need any, um, 
We don't need any HMs after that point. So we're gonna put him on the team because he's already level 50, so it's gonna, you know, really, really, really come in handy. If you can get through here, you can go meet the Elite Four. Yeah, I plan on it. Oh, no problem, Pixie. Thanks for supporting the channel. All right, so once we leave here, we need to get to... Hmm. Oh, okay, you leave through E, so we need to get to D. Um... This guy's kind of confusing to follow. <laughs> can't find the, uh, there's, um, yeah, let me go ahead and just show you. It's like, it shows the map, and then it has, like, all these, uh, has, like, all these staircases that are lettered, but, like, it's hard to actually find the letter that you're looking for sometimes. So you need to find the D staircase. I also just don't see D. Oh, maybe we... Okay, never mind. We don't go through there. Okay, I think I got it solved. Let's hope for the best. But yeah, Pixie got sent to the PC. Um, so we're gonna have to get him after we uh, get through here. Um... But yeah, we don't really need to level him up or anything. He's already level 50. That's that's just really going to come in handy uh, for the Elite Four. Oh, what type is Vile Plume? Oh, wait, he was uh, ground, right? We only have one more Mega Drain. Uh, let's switch to Cat Lover. There's no way... Oh, man, just seeing Candle that low health is scary. <laughs> We're not going to send him out, but just seeing him at that low health is scary. Okay, he's using Flamethrower. I did not expect that. Thankfully, he doesn't do much. So is he like ground fire type? If so, this should just be neutral, right? Okay, no, it was crit super effective. Okay, so he just happens to know fire blast or flamethrower or whatever. Alright, Porygon. Can't remember his typing either, but I'm sure one Razor Leaf will take him out. Usually does. Also, I just noticed I haven't used the speed up button at all today. I mean I guess I was just trying to take it, you know, take it easy for this one, but uh. Yeah, normally I'm just on fire with the speed up button. That's how we lost Persian, I'm pretty sure. I think I was slightly speeding up, and then I sent out a uh, Persian, and well, maybe not. I mean, I just completely did not expect a. Uh, I did, completely completely didn't expect a self destruct right there. It was very uh, very frustrating. All right, let's see. Mario's electric. He's ice dragon. Wish. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, this is a, there's, there's just so much going on with the Pokemon games, it's a lot to learn, uh, and it's probably even more confusing right now because I'm playing with it randomized, so, like, the typings don't make sense, like, that cat is Ice Dragon type, when normally it's just, you know, normal type, which is just, you know, it just doesn't have, like, a specific type. So it's just kind of weird to think of that cat as an ice dragon, yet somehow it is. And uh, this mon that we're using right now, Mario, is normally fighting type, yet he's electric type. You know, because of the randomization. So this honestly may not be the best way to learn about the game. I mean, you can kind of learn, you know, names of the mons and kind of the layout. But as far as typings and stuff, it's so random. <laughs> It'd be like, a, you know taking a class and everything that you learn in the class is just completely random. Like they just they just shuffle the answers to the test or something like that. Alright, let's see what this TM is. Agility. Agility's not bad. Um I completely forget my Pokemon. Yeah, it's gotta be kinda confusing. I actually um I told my friends about uh, one of the channel, or about the channel recently, and he came on and watched one of the streams, and he was like, wait, because he did know a pretty good amount of Pokemon, and he was like, wait, what's going on? How, why is everything randomized? <laughs> Which that was my reaction to whenever I first found out about randomization. I was just like, how are these people even doing this? But um, 
Yeah, it's just a program that you download and then you take any uh, ROM that you have of any Pokemon game, uh, open it through the program, and then you uh, you can just choose everything that you want to randomize. Uh, sometimes people just randomize the encounters, but what like makes it an extreme uh, randomization is whenever you randomize the types and evolutions as well. Of the cards in the anime. Yeah, I collected the cards for a while, um, and then I finally got to where I was actually playing the game with my friends. The trading card game is so much fun. Um, I'm actually planning on a, doing a stream of the Pokemon trading card game for Game Boy um, at some point. I'm going to try to add some Nuzlocke rules with it. Um, I'm actually really excited about that one. I've just been kind of ironing out the details because it's just kind of weird to try to make that into a Nuzlocke, but I actually found out one that I think is really going to be like a really effective way of playing it, and it's going to be really fun. I've been testing it out on my own, and like, it is to where whenever you lose a Mon, it just, it does kind of have that same impact as a Nuzlocke, and whenever you get a Mon that you're looking for, it, it just feels, it's just such a good feeling. But yeah, it was the layout is what I was trying to figure out, because I was looking for a way to put on the layout the Pokemon that we have, or like that we're able to use, and then to where we can take them away once we lose them in battle. Um, but it was just like, I was gonna write down the names and everything, and I wasn't sure if you actually see it with the way the layout was, but the idea I came up with was to basically um, just use like sprites, like Pokemon sprites. So they might still be kind of small, but it'll be a lot easier to tell, like, oh, okay, so he has Bulbasaur. In the next episode, Bulbasaur's not there, so he must have lost it in battle. Um, and also just the layout, like the picture I used, it's a, uh, one of the Japanese Pokemon card, like, pack designs, and it just looks so cool. Yeah, I'm still, I'm probably gonna start that, though, after the Yu-Gi-Oh! does lock, or, uh, capsule lock. Which I'm having so much fun with that one. That one, that one's really, really fun to, to stream. It just keeps getting better and better too, honestly. Like, when I started off it was really fun, but uh, now that our monster capsules are getting a lot stronger, I'm just going through the game so much more easily, not having to worry about losing anybody. Um, just enjoying the story and, and enjoying the new game. Like, I played it a lot, a long time ago, but it's been so long, it's basically a new game to me now. I heard rumors of a child prodigy. Yeah, that's kind of cool, actually. I never... It's like, in the Pokemon manga, you know, Red is like... You know, he does become, like, one of the most well-known trainers of all time. But, uh, you don't really get that feeling in the game until... You know, like, the end of the game, whenever you're, uh, you know, the champion. But it's cool that this guy is kind of like a, basically telling you people are already, you know, talking of rumors of a child prodigy, like talking about you, before you even get to the Elite Four. Yeah, good NPC dialogue in Pokemon games, it, it really takes the game, like, to a whole other level. But, but then, of course, you have the NPCs that say literally, like, the stupidest stuff ever that it does not further the game in any way at all. Sometimes it's funny, though, so, I mean, it, I guess it, it doesn't further the game, but it just makes it entertaining. Alright, got hit with Rage. Um, let's go ahead and go with Nightshade. Eh, I thought that would be more. He raises his attack, still doesn't do much at all. Yeah, honestly, we're out of Victory Road almost. I guess Victory Road was always confusing for me in this gen, just because I didn't do it as often. Or when I was playing it when I was younger, I didn't have, you know, the guidebook, so it was literally just walking around, getting into battle after battle after battle. It just kind of got frustrating after a while. But, uh, but yeah, once you know where to go, actually, I mean, you just go right to it. I predict we'll probably be out of there, depending on how many more trainers we get to fight, maybe in another five minutes or so. Alright, uh, let's end with Rock Slide, see how much that does. Ooh, try attack. Rock Slide missed? Do I risk a crit try attack? 
is the question. Or do I switch out to Cat Lover, which I know is gonna just wreck this Clefable? Yeah, you saw how much it did to Mario, see how much it does to Cat Lover. Okay, still did more than I thought because it was a crit, but uh. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go with Mega Drain. Oh no, Constrictor, are you serious? Oh wait, I thought. I thought. No, that's Bind. Bind is the one where you can't attack. It literally just keeps attacking and you can't move. But, uh, Constrict is just a one time attack. Okay, don't hurt yourself in confusion. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, nicely healed. Yeah, I forgot about having Mega Drain on Dab and uh, Cat Lover, but not having that many healing items really hasn't been much of a problem for us. We can heal up, like, essentially two of our strongest mons. I just wish that uh, Mew had some kind of healing because we're not able to use him at all because he's got, like, two, two health right now. Alright, defeated him. Rumors were true. Alright, let's see what this item is. Ah, oh, it's a Polka doll. Uh, that was all for nothing. Yeah, Polka doll basically, it just lets you escape from any battle. But really, we haven't had any trouble escaping from battle, so it's kind of useless. Alright, gonna use strength so we can move boulders. Oop, wrong way. And we're gonna have to move it all the way up to that button that was over by the. Staircase that we took to Moltres. I kind of want to speed up this part too, I'm not going to lie. But then I don't want to speed it up too much, and then I end up pushing the boulder to a spot where we can't push it anymore. Because then you have to go through a staircase again, then come back for it to reset and do everything over again. Alright, so... Oh wait, we needed to push it all the way to the wall anyway. And Pokemon Battle. I was just gonna say I'm surprised we haven't gotten into a battle yet, and I didn't want to jinx it, but turns out I didn't need to. We already jinxed it. Alright, so... Yeah, we just keep getting side there. I'm just gonna go ahead and run. Honestly, having a Pixie, that Zapdos, um, I'm feeling a lot better about the... I was already feeling pretty good about the Elite Four, but I'm feeling even better now, so we really don't have to worry too much about leveling up, I don't think. Side there. That being said, if we still had an Ice Mon, or... Wait, did we teach... Oh yeah, we taught Cloyster Ice Punch. Theoretically, we could be using him against Scyther. Okay, now I want to get into a battle with Scyther just to see... Wait. Oh, Machoke. I was about to say, what is that sprite? Okay, so he's psychic type. Oh, how cool is this? So Machoke is what we had that evolved into Venusaur. Now they're battling each other. I'm still just gonna run though. It's weird we haven't seen a Machoke the entire time in Victory Road, and then all of a sudden we we just see one pop up. Wait, my repel was my max repel was still in effect. We were still running into Mons though. I guess I guess we were supposed to be running into him even more frequently. Yeah, we could it. We could send in Articuno for the Machoke. I kind of want to fight her, but at the same time, I'm just gonna walk past her. But um, but yeah, I mean, other than Articuno, we don't have any Mons that are good against a uh, Psychic type. All right, here we go. Now we can test out uh, Guga Mosco. This will be our first time actually using Guga Mosco in battle. All Alright, let's see what he can do. I remember he he has kind of low defense, but it randomized him to have just really, really, really good speed and really good uh, special. I'm um, gonna do a little bit of moving around here. Alright, that should be good. Hit with the Ice Punch, one hit. Come on, Oko, Oko, Oko. Ah, oh, no, but it still did really good. Ooh, that Vine Whip, though. Yikes. Okay, there we go. It's also going to be useful, um, anytime we get hit with a normal type attack uh, from any of the Elite Four Pokemon and we have a uh, Cloyster out, it's it's not going to do anything. So if we go up against like a particularly tough Mon, 
um, that keeps spamming like hyper beam or something like that, we can just send Cloyster out and hyper beam can't do anything to him. Uh, I'm just gonna run, it's a spear. We'd get like no experience from him anyway. Guys, I'm so excited. We're getting so close to the Elite Four. This is basically, we go out here, we go, we push one rock out of the way, then we take the staircase, and then we're out of the Elite Four, or out of the <laughs> Victory Road, and on to the Elite Four. And then we can get our Zapdos out of the box. It's so cool that we, we're going to end up having Articuno as our starter, and basically Zapdos is going to be the last Pokemon we catch uh, in the Nuzlocke. Ooh. We have to fight one or the other, it looks like. Um, what do you guys think? Should we fight uh, this dude or this chick? I'm gonna go ahead and heal up a little bit while while you guys decide. Um, I guess we don't really do. I'll heal up cat lovers to be safe. And I'll go ahead and use all of the super potions. We're about to buy a whole bunch of uh, full restorers. I'll just use it on Google Musco. The chick? Okay. That's actually what I was leaning towards, too. Alright, let's see what she's got. I'll show you just how good you are. What is that? Is that like a compliment? Like, I'll show you just how good you are. Or, I'll show you just how good you are. It could be taken either way, I guess. Oh, a Kakuna. No, I'm gonna show you just how good you are. <laughs> I don't even know what type Kakuna is, but like everything knocks him out in one hit, it seems. I'll go with Confusion. Ooh, not very effective. He actually hung on. Okay, this is gonna be super effective though. One shot for sure. Yeah, good call on the chick. She had really easy Pokemon to defeat. <laughs> she got randomized a pretty bad hand. Alright, send out Kakuna. Let's go ahead and switch over to Mario. He's at level 38. If we can get him up a little bit higher level. Since we did just, just teach him uh, Earthquake and all that, he could actually be really, really useful for us. Um, go ahead and use Earthquake, why not? I think Earthquake actually does have better accuracy than Rock Slide, if I'm not mistaken. So I feel like Rock Slide is, like, missed. Like, every time we have used it, which isn't that often, it ends up missing the first time. And for Grimer, I really don't know what type he is, so we're just gonna go out with, uh, Koista here. Cloistay. Ice Punch. He might be Grass type, and this should just one shot him then. He's using a Grass move. He might be part Grass and part something that resists uh, Ice, so it's like neutral damage. Jesus, defeated Cool Trainer. <laughs> I'm furious. Sorry. Alright, so this should be the last part over here. Another Spiro, come on Spiro. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm extremely happy, like, just overjoyed that, uh, Rip Ekans and, <laughs> Ekans and Kakuna and Grimer. Rest in peace, fallen soldiers, you will be missed. But I'm just so overjoyed that I'm not seeing those frame skipping, uh, notifications anymore. And I'm, just, and I'm assuming, since I'm not seeing them, that it's not skipping. Um, so yeah, things just keep getting better and better. Okay, um, I feel like if you push that down somewhere, maybe it helps you solve another part of the puzzle or something. I don't know, but, oh wait, no, we can't. Okay, I think we might have to go down there. I don't know, this is weird. Not skipping, oh, okay, whew. That is such a relief, like, oh man. Because I was imagining when I eventually start streaming, you know, n games that are from, you know, the 2000s and not like the 90s, uh, are we going to run into that problem as well? Okay, I'm, I'm assuming, let me look in the guide just to be safe, I'm assuming that is the staircase we need to get to to get to the end? Oh gosh. Yeah, this isn't even the hardest area. Not the, um, Victory Road, but the Unknown Dungeon where you get Mewtwo. Just take a look at this. Six maps. They're all big. They all look like mazes. Yeah, I'm- I'm- I, no one has time for that. 
It's not even guaranteed a Mewtwo because it's randomized. It is! This whole time I was looking for the D staircase, and now that I'm actually predicting that that's the one, I look at the guide and it's just so clearly right there. D staircase. Okay, let me see where I need to push this boulder to though. I feel like I'm using the guide as a crutch, but I'm just so ready to get out of here and get to uh, the, or, uh, the Elite Four. Take on those guys. Okay, we're literally just pushing it straight across. And then we have an item over here that should be a TM, because it looks like it's normally a TM. And I believe all the TMs just randomly uh, become other TMs. Is this our first time seeing Rattata in the entire series? One of the most common mods in the beginning of the game, and it's our first time seeing him. It may not be, but it's just like seeing him now. It just feels like the first time I've seen him in a while. Yeah, exactly. I love guides, honestly. I know nowadays you could just, you know, grab your phone, search it online. You don't even have to type it. You can just use, you know, your voice and ask the question. But like, I don't know, something about guides. And is this one specific, uh, specifically the um, it's like versus books. Uh, I had one for gold and silver that I had for the longest time. It's literally falling apart. I have taped pages together. Um, I loved it. It's so in depth. It's more in depth than any other guide I've ever used for Pokemon. And uh, the verses, they only made that gold and silver one, and then they made this, uh, the red, yellow, and blue one. Um, and actually bought the red, yellow, and blue one just this year on eBay. It's in amazing condition, a lot better than my gold and silver one. And uh, it still just has that same feel as the, uh, the other one. It's like, in the verses books, it's like, as you're reading how to get past certain parts, um, I don't just, the way it's written is just, it, it just feels more like somebody's sitting there talking to you, like, how to get through here. And, uh, in the end of the book, it even has, like, um, the people that made the book, it has their Pokemon team on it. And it's kind of funny because somebody put, uh, oh, what was it? They put Electrode on there. And apparently, like, I, I always thought Electrode was good. I guess he's not as good because of his moveset, typically. But his speed is insane. But somebody was like, they had a Electrode on their team. They're like, yeah, everyone was making fun of me for having him on this team. But I mean, who's going to be laughing when he ends up winning? <laughs> but I think it's because like his, uh, I can't remember. I know he gets, he gets Thunder. Really, I don't know why they would make fun of him for having, or make fun of her for having him on the team. Like, uh, Electrode was good. But I guess people are just assuming if you have an Electric type, you're going to go with... Uh, Pikachu or Raichu, or, um, Electabuzz, or even with Zapdos or something. Because some of the other people I like Mewtwo on their team. I'm like, come on guys, that's OP. But yeah, it's just like guides. I mean, not to say online, like walkthroughs. Well, it depends on what you're looking at online, I guess. If you're looking up somebody's Yahoo answer on what to do, that's not that cool. But, like, even IGN has walkthroughs that are pretty, like pretty in-depth and they still kind of put some of that um that personality into the guide and that's what i really love about it it's just the personality put into the guide absorb um cat lover and kennel can learn it i don't want them to honestly wait what was the other team that we got it was agility right let me just see who can learn it mario he's already really quick and dab's already really quick Wait, no, Mario isn't quick, right? Oh, no, never mind. Excuse me, Mario's pretty quick. <laughs> For his level, at least. Okay, guys, we are almost out of here. Just one more staircase, and... Bam. Oop, I accidentally sped up. <laughs> well, thank you, everyone for joining me on this journey. It has taken us just eight episodes and we have finally reached the final stage of battle. Gonna heal our Pokemon and we're gonna get Pixie out of that PC. Cause I know Pixie is grass type, but he may have another typing. I really hope he does because like I said, we already have Articuno, you know, coincidentally the other legendary bird that is pure grass type. But if we have another typing with this, that could literally be game changer. Oh, the suspense is killing me. 
All right, bye, Thicker. Thank you for all the HM needs that you have fulfilled. All right, we got Pixie, the level 10 Zapdos. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Wait, he's Dragon type? No way, he's the same type as Mew. No way. And you know, Solar Beam and Vice Grip. Okay, now we can start getting some of the um, uh, TMs out of our PC that we got along the way. Okay, but look at those stats. Those might even... He has lower HP than Articuno, but that's saying... That's not really saying much because Articuno has insanely high HP. But he's got better speed and better defense. Amazing attack. Still really good special. This is a very well-rounded mod, honestly. Let's see what TMs we have on hand, if there's anything we want to teach him. And then I know in the PC we save some good ones. This one's Rock Throw, right? I'm gonna go ahead and teach him Rock Throw. Um, just for- oh wait, not Able? Oh no. It is really sick. It is really sick. Pixie could be our new, like, real, real MVP. Ooh, Acid. The notorious uh, TM49 Acid that caused our game to literally make us trip on Acid. Figuratively speaking. Alright, Absorb, can he learn? He can learn it. We'll go ahead and teach it to him. We may not be able to use it, really, if we get another TM that's better, but you never know, we might need to heal up or something. Okay, withdraw item. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm just gonna withdraw all the TMs we have, and then see what they are, and then put all the ones back that we don't need. withdrew old rod i didn't mean to do that no get out of here old rod it's times like these i really just so grateful that in the in the newer games there's no bag space you can just have as much as you want um there's another one down here yeah tm39 i think one more yeah 46 I honestly have no clue what any of these are at this point. I think one of them's toxic. Oh, that's Rock Throw still. Pfft, I'm just going in the same ones. I'm so excited that I'm just forgetting all this stuff. And that's an. That's another one we already looked at. Double Slap. Yeah, that's not really a good one. Rap. Mm. Metronome. So metronome's the move that once you use it, it uses any random attack. It's cool, but I mean, it's too unpredictable. And soft boiled. I guess we could go with, and he can't learn it. Wow. Um, let's see. I forget what Guga Mosco's moves are. Um, other than that ice punch. Conversion. Do we really need conversion? It makes your type. The type of the move you were just hit with last, I believe. Unless it's the same, it just makes your move or your type the same type as your opponent. Um, at the same time, I kind of like the idea of Confuse Ray and Soft Boiled. So Confuse them, they might not be able to hit us. We can heal up in the meantime. Oh boy. Um, and Bubble's honestly not that strong. I mean, let's see, Water's good against Fire and Rock. We have counters for both. Hmm. Well, we already have Candle with the water move. I'm gonna forget Bubble. We're gonna have Guga Mosco be kind of our strategic mon. That really has me wondering now, like, what should I... Agility would increase speed. I mean, he may not meet, need another move. He has Solar Beam, but I just kind of hate that you have to, like... You just have to wait for the, uh... You have to wait a turn to power up and then use it. He can learn Rap. I mean... <laughs> just picturing Zapdos using Rap. He's got high enough attack. Rap might actually not be that bad. Plus, it just stops the opponent from moving. He's such high level. I mean... We actually might be able to use Rap to our advantage. Let's go ahead and get rid of all these. And then, yeah, definitely gonna... I'm not gonna forget to buy healing items before we go into this. 
Yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to go ahead and do the Victory Road and then end it there and then do Elite Four tomorrow, but we're already here. It's four battles and then the champion. We might as well go to the end. I'm going to keep Acid with us just because, I don't know. It was just so cool whenever we got Acid that one time. Oh, wait, this is the Cable Club. Yeah, that's where you trade. Um, Alright, let's see. We already have enough full heals, maybe, but I'm just gonna buy a couple more just to be 100% safe. Don't need any revives, because we're doing a Nuzlocke, which makes it really scary. Um, let me see. We don't have full heal elixir. Full okay, we do have one full restore. Gosh, we have so much money. Um, let's see, 10 would be 3,000. Or 30,000. Also, we do like 20. Or 30. I mean, it's the end of the game. We don't need this money for anything else. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and save. You never know what's gonna happen. Something could happen with the ROM. I could accidentally close it like I did the other day. Um, it's gonna be the last save. Alright. Are you guys ready for this? Because I know I am. I am so ready. I am, I am so excited for this. Alright. Here we go. We are locked in. We cannot leave now. Okay. I'm not... I'm not like 100% just really wanting to switch train. But if these Pokemon are high enough level, Mario can get at least a little bit more levels in. I was kind of wanting to, uh... Yeah, let's go! Uh, I was kind of wanting to level up a little bit more before we went in, but the fact that we got a uh, Pixie at level 50, I feel like we're, we're not going to have any trouble. Okay, yeah, I forget what she already said, but I'm just going to fill in. It was, um... Nobody compares to me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at mercy. When, or at my mercy when they are frozen solid. Ha ha ha. Are you ready? Yes, I am, Lorelai. Yes, I am. Alright, it's so exciting always to see the uh, the randomized Pokemon that the Elite Four has. Ooh, a Marowak. That's Firebug type. Um, Firebug, we're electric. Okay, Bug resists ground. He's level 54. Okay, never mind. I was about to say, let's risk, uh, <laughs> let's risk Rock Slide, but actually, no thanks. Um, we got with Candle. Bruh, look at that HP, though, 197. I keep forgetting Candle has insane HP. And such good, like, defense, like, Fire-type moves aren't effective against him, Water-type aren't, Grass-type, Electric-type, all that. Uh, we'll go with... I was going to say Sky Attack, but Surf should be super effective as well. Alright, let's see if 10 levels makes that much of a difference on their end. No, it still did so much. Oh, Metronome, that could be anything. Splash. He literally metronomed the worst move in the game. There's no effect. I don't even think about it, but... Okay, yeah, we're going to have to use... We're going to have to use some of our moves sparingly, because we have some Max Elixirs, but not that many. And it's not something you can buy. Ice Punch, very scary. We ate that. We ate that. We ate that, like, yesterday's lunch. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I was trying to do a play on, like, a play on a done, like, dinner, but, you know, we ate that, like, yesterday's lunch. <laughs> Alright, so we got Kadabra now. He's fighting type. So this Psychic... It's just gonna completely annihilate him. That Ice Punch was really scary, though. I forgot that early, early in the game, Marowak almost killed uh, Articuno with an Ice move. And I, I know he's Fire Bug, I didn't expect him to have an Ice move. Yo, Candle's already leveling up. Okay, um... Golbat was Ice Poison. Switch to Mario's so we can level him up more. Uh, Ice Poison, what would be good against him? I'm gonna go ahead and say Dab. Dab really doesn't have any weaknesses other than Bug. Says Ice Punch shouldn't do much. 
Okay, good, good. Confusion. Should be super effective. I wish it did a little bit more damage than it did, but it was still super effective. He's just gonna go with Haze again. There's no stat changes even going on, so that makes no sense. Alright, three down. If they have five or six. Ooh, Mario's leveling up. Nice. Switch training is gonna come in handy, I think. And Dab leveled up. Nice. Yeah, I mean, we're going up against level 50s. Like, okay, they only have five. Okay, Onyx was fire type. So, switch to Mario. And then we're gonna switch over to Candle. Gosh, it's level 56. I don't care what type you are, that is scary. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure it's just fire moves that he knows. He doesn't know any ice moves or anything. Ooh, Seismic Toss. That does by the level, so it's going to do 56. I didn't even think about moves like Seismic Toss. Okay, so we can eat one more attack if we need to. I'm going to go ahead and use Surf. Assuming... Oh, this could be... This could be a very risky move here. Yes! One hit KO! Nice! Nicely done, Candle. Alright, and Venomoth. I always forget Venomoth. Is he... I swear he's ice. So... Alright, we'll go with Cat Lover. I almost forgot we had Cat Lover. I'm not gonna lie. I keep thinking just, you know, we got Pixie. We got all of them now. I just, I keep forgetting we have Cat Lover. Got him! Alright, uh, we'll go with Razor Leaf. He's going with recover. He hadn't even lost any damage. Okay, come on. We don't need attacks to keep missing. That's just going to lower our uh, power points. Level 56 Venom. Yikes. Ooh, crit. That crit mattered. If we can get another one, it's definitely going to matter. Because otherwise, it's, it's not going to knock him out all the way. Ooh, another crit, but he still hung on? How is that even possible? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, the Elite Four sometimes heals. Also, now that I'm thinking about it, um, because I'm still trying to play around, I'm going to get my microphone tomorrow, so I'm just using the microphone on the webcam, and I don't know what the new webcam's mic is like. Um, how is, how is my voice audio or my, my my voice volume with the uh game volume like should i turn down the game volume um or like because i want you to still be able to hear the music because it's so amazing um and i know a lot of uh i've seen other videos where the music's just really 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 low where you can still hear it but barely but i want it to be pretty well heard but to where it's not like over my voice at all See, Stun Spore? We don't need Stun Spore. Can you imagine if we accidentally got rid of Razor Leaf for Stun Spore in the Elite Four first battle? It's a really good balance. Oh, okay, good, good. I did turn down the volume, I think just like three decibels of the, uh, the game volume. Um, so I'm wondering if that may have kind of helped a little bit as well. Yeah, I'm still just trying to really find that good balance. I think when I get my microphone, it'll be a lot easier. Um, but until then... Okay, so full restore... Definitely use him on, use that on Candle. I should have probably bought some super potions too. I hate using full restore on mods that are only losing like... Or have only lost like 30 health. Alright, I think... Yeah, I think we're just gonna go right into the next one. Lorelei down, next is Bruno. Originally, basically the fighting slash rock slash ground type trainer. I don't even know if he has really like a specific, uh, specific type. I'm Bruno of the Elite Four, though through rigorous training, people and Pokemon can become stronger. I've weighed, trained with poor Pokemon. Jesus, we will grind down, grind you down with our superior power. Hoo-ha. I don't know, Bruno has, he does not sound like that at all. But, uh, the name Bruno just kind of made me want to do that voice, I'm not gonna lie. We'll start out with a tentacle. 
Um, Tentacle was... Is he Electric type? I really don't want to take any chances, but if I use Earthquake and use Electric, it would have just wrecked him. <laughs> wrecked him. <laughs> wrecked him. Alright, we're gonna send out Pixie. Our first time using Pixie in battle. Yo, look at that Sprite. That Electric Bird. Oh, he's Grass type. So... Let's just try Absorb. Not very effective. Maybe he's not that type. Um, we'll go with Vice Grip. He was he was getting a lot of crits with Vice Grip when we were going up against Pixie the first time. That's not bad. Um, him with another Vice Grip. Oh, Crab Hammer. That'll do nothing. Oh, it's a crit though. It actually did a little something. Ooh, there's the there's our crit. Yeah, Vice Grip is really good when you get a crit in. Oh, another Butterfree. Um, wait, Laurel, I didn't have a Butterfree. We just fought one in a um, Victory Road. That's what it was. All right, so he's Ice type. Um, so Rock would be good, but I want to send out Mario with the Rock type. Um, Dad, maybe. I'm so tempted to use Mario in all these situations, but he's so he's such lower level, I'm worried. We'll just go with Confusion. Not very effective. Oh, I forgot. I think we even used that earlier, and it wasn't very effective. Yikes. Um... Mega Drain? Let me get some healing in. Uh, it was neutral, but it did like nothing. Uh, we'll go with Nightshade, I guess. May have to switch out to another Mon, but I, I have faith in Dad that he can do this, so we'll see. Another Reflect, yikes. Well, I guess Reflect is just uh, defense, right? So since we're using special, it shouldn't do anything. Is he going to use any attacking moves? <laughs> guess not. I love Butterfree though. Honestly, like Ash's Butterfree, like, of course the saddest episode of Pokemon ever is the episode where, the, you know, bye bye Butterfree, where Ash has to, has to say goodbye to Butterfree so he can go and live his life with that pink Butterfree. But uh, but yeah, up until that point, just anytime he'd send out Butterfree, I was just, I just love hearing Ash is like, I choose you, Butterfree, and Butterfree comes out like. Yeah, that's my professional uh, Butterfree impersonation, by the way. Okay, Flareon I know is Ice type. Um, I don't want to go to though. Uh, I'm just gonna go to Cat Lover. We're gonna try to put him to sleep and then try to take him up that way, probably. Okay, it goes for X Defense, so we don't have to do an attack. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'll do it one more time just for good for good measure. Low kick. Why did low kick do that much, even with the crit? All right, he's asleep now. Let's go for Mega Drain. He might actually not be Ice type, just knows an Ice type move. Yeah, because that was neutral. He got a little bit of health back there. Oh, he woke up already. Okay, crit. Knock him out, one hit. Crit. Knock him out, one hit. Oh, so close, it was a crit too. Um, do Razor Leaf. Yo, he outspeeds, why? Another crit low kit? Yeah, crit is affected by your speed in this gen. I don't think they did that with any other gen, unless I'm mistaken, but... um, Yeah, the higher your speed, the higher chance of getting a crit. So, uh, if he's out speeding us, it shows he's got really good speed. Charmeleon. I don't know if we've... Have we seen Charmeleon yet? It might be the first time seeing Charmeleon. In the whole, uh, the whole Nuzlocke. It might be, because that sprite's not looking too familiar. I'm gonna assume he's the same typing as that Charizard. I'm pretty sure Charizard was grass normal. So we're going to try Sky Attack just to see. Oh, that X Defend is going to help him out, though. Just flying is physical. 
Mega Punch, eat it, eat it. Psychic. I mean, Psychic's good against most things, honestly. Not bad, but I thought Psychic would do more than that. Jeez, let's try Surf. Yeah, the, um, I had mentioned before, uh, I love the champion battle music in this game. It's better than any champion battle music other than maybe Cynthia's, uh, champion battle music. Okay, please don't. Charmeleon, no! No! Bad Charmeleon. That was our Mew. That was our Mew. I thought we were going to knock him out with that last surf. I didn't think he'd use Body Slap. I should have healed. That is like the... That is such a yikes. That is such a yikes factor right there. Oh gosh, okay, um... Well, we can't use Mew for the rest of the Elite Four. Speaking of, uh... Speaking of, um... Champion Battle... Good luck to us trying to take it on without Mew. I mean, we weren't really using Mew as much as we had been. We were just kind of keeping him on the, on the bench, but I mean... Seriously, though, that is so frustrating. <laughs> hey, but still, I don't have to update the uh, death counter um, if we do finish the game in this episode, so my prediction earlier, or, uh, you know, my desire earlier to keep it, you know, keep it at 8, you know, it's technically at 9, but the layout still says 8, so in my mind, we just lost 8 mons, we didn't lose candle. But, I mean... Literally, we came up with the saying, there's nothing Candle can't handle. Apparently, Charmeleon breaks that. Okay, we did take out Bruno, though, but still. Oh, man. Um, yeah, 100%. Full Restore and Cat Lover. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna move past that and move on. Now we got Agatha. I am Agatha of the Elite Four. Oak's taken a lot of interest in you, child. That old Duff once was tough and handsome. That was decades ago. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokedex. He's wrong. Pokemon are for fighting. Jesus. <laughs> See, I always think it's like, it seems like they're not even saying my name. They're just kind of, you, you know, just, Jesus, I'll show you how a real trainer fights. I actually really like Agatha. I've been seeing a little bit more about her recently in the um, Pokemon manga and uh, in the app uh, Pokemon Masters. Um, yeah, her and Oak really used to be good friends. And I think she kind of liked them back then. And then Oak was like one of the best... Uh, Jesus! Oak was one of the best trainers uh, back in his day. And then he just ended up studying Pokemon and just hardly battles anymore. And she's just so upset with that because she's like, No, you're going to fight me! Okay, I can't remember what type Eevee was, but gosh, Eevee is so cute. Is he water type? Withdrawal is a water type move, right? I'm just gonna go with Solar Beam just to see what it does. Strings, is he bug type? Oh, if he is, Solar Beam's not gonna do that much. Yeah, not very effective, but it still almost killed him. Oh, there goes Super Potion. Um, Try Vice Grip. Come on, crit, crit, crit. Hey, no crit. <laughs> I'm not gonna give up though. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use Vice Grip again. No crit. Oh, another Super Potion. Okay, we're just gonna go with another Solar Beam. Hydro Pump. That's not gonna do anything. I was gonna say because we're Grass type. Because I keep thinking we're Grass because we have Solar Beam. We're Dragon type, but it still doesn't do anything. Attack Mist. Solar Beam, come on! Oh wait, it's because he's using Minimize. Oh man. Yeah, are we ever gonna be able to hit him? Um. All right, I'm gonna go to Cat Lover, just so we can use Razor Leaf without having to wait the turn for 
powering up Solar Beam. Withdraw and Minimize. The Randomizer gave Eevee some really good moves, I'm not gonna lie. Really annoying moves, and he doesn't really have anything he can attack us with, but... String Shot's gonna lower his speed too, jeez. So it's String Shot, Withdraw, Minimize, Hydro Pump. It's not a bad move set as far as like an, an annoying mon goes. Okay, we're gonna end up wasting all of our Razor Leafs by the end of this, so... Um, I'm going to send out Guga Mosco, and I'm just going to use Withdraw again, of course. Um, I'm going to try to confuse him. If we can even get one confuse in, he can do, he can hurt himself in confusion. That could really help us. Y'all, I should have got X accuracy. If I had X accuracy, we would be able to hit him no problem. Oh, okay, Confuse- oh, okay, Confuse Ray worked. Nice. Okay, please hit yourself in Confusion. Please. Oh, it did nothing. No. No. This might be it. Oh, Ice Punch worked. Okay, here we go. Not very effective. Okay, um... Hurt himself in Confusion again, though. Okay, I'm just gonna go for another Ice Beam. Or Ice Punch. He's, he's still confused, though. He's actually staying confused for a, a long time. That's good. Oh, come on. Confused no more. I was about to say, watch him be not confused. Whenever one more hitting himself in confusion would knock him out. I honestly did not think Eevee would be this much trouble. Should I go for another Confuse Ray? I feel better about wasting Confuse Ray than wasting Ice Pond. Hydro Bump. Don't crit. Please don't crit. Wait, why didn't I heal up? I was about to say, don't use Hydro Pump again. We may, we may have just lost Cloyster here. There's a chance we didn't, though. Two. What is with two? That is how that is how Candle almost died. I mean, he's dead now. But how he almost died to that Magmar before. He held on by two. Come on, Confuse Ray. I'm trying another Ice Punch. I wish we had a move that had 100... If we had Swift... Oh, if we had Swift. 100% accuracy on Swift. Alright, um... Switching out to Cat Lover again. I think at this point he's used... Like, Hydro Pump only has 5 power points. At this point he can't use uh, Hydro Pump anymore. <sighs> Maybe that's the last one. Did nothing. Yes, Razor Leaf went through. Oh, man. I knew it was a matter of, I knew we were going to win it, but it was just a matter of when. That was the longest battle I've ever had against an Eevee. <laughs> like, hands down, world record longest battle I've ever had against an Eevee. And that was just the first one. Okay, here comes Raticate. Honestly, the way that one went, um... With, why'd you send out Raticate if you're going to withdraw him immediately? Stupid. Okay, Sleep Powder. We're going to use our uh, trademark Sleep Powder Growth strategy. Withdrew Weezing again. Wow. I'm just going to use Growth again. There's no way Eradicate can do anything that can one-shot us. Of course, an annoying Thunder Wave, though. Seriously tough Eevee. Like, yikes. Um, Actually, I'm not going to cure the Paralysis just yet. I'm just going to go ahead and see if we can one-shot him with this uh, Razor Leaf. And of course the Paralysis screws us over. Oh, now he's got Swift. A crit Swift? That did way more than I thought it would. Okay, come on Razor Leaf, one shot, one shot. Yes! Critical Razor Leaf, yes! And we have two growths on, so that increases our special by two. Sending out Weezing, which is already asleep. Um, I'll try to heal up a little bit more. I don't think it's going to be very effective against Weezing, though. I think he actually is grass. Alright, um... 
I mean, he's asleep. Let's go for another growth. If we use growth, and then we get to the point where we start to use more, um... Start to use more, uh, Mega Drain, we can definitely keep healing up in this battle. As annoying as that Paralysis is, though, and he may not have another Mon that can use uh, a Paralyzing move, let's just go ahead and get rid of it. He's still asleep. Nice. This is actually going really well. That that Eevee battle we just had, it, it was just a little hiccup, but we're doing better now. Um, can I go ahead and use Razor Leaf now? It should one-shot him, I think. No? Even with the crit? Oh, oh now he's got Mew. Um... Dragon type. Uh, sleep powder. I'll try to put him to sleep and just use another growth, honestly. Level 58. Okay, level 58 dragon type Mew. Scary. It's literally candle come back from the grave. It's zombie candle. <laughs> Alright, um. Hit him with the razor leaf. It's not gonna be very effective because he's dragon type, but. Was that four growths that we have? Even with four growths, it does that much? No. I want to switch out to Cloyster to use those Ice Punches, because he's the only Ice Mon we have right now. But we already have all those growths on. I don't want to. I don't want to switch out. Hyper Fang, don't do much. Please don't do much. Oh yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh man. I mean, we're halfway through the Elite Four, at least, but still, like, this battle is definitely the toughest of the Elite Four so far. Even though losing Candle in, in the battle against Bruno, that was really tough. That was tough on a, that was tough on an emotional level. Alright, we healed up a little bit more, and we're gonna go with Razor Leaf now. Alright, so after this, he has Weezing that only needs one more hit, and then he's got one more Mon, or she's got one more Mon. We have no clue what it is. I kind of hope it's Gengar, just because that's Agathar's, like, main... Uh, Agathar. Agatha's main mon, and it would just be cool if she got randomized a uh, Gengar. I'm also kind of happy, I guess, it randomizes the moves that they use as well, because they keep using Super Potion, but in the actual game, they always use, like, Hyper Potions, because they always just, like, heal up all the way. So it's like, you get them down to the red, and they heal up all the way, and it's so annoying. So it's like it randomized all their Hyper Potions into Super Potions. How unfortunate for them. Okay, we have to be getting low on... Okay, we are very low on Razor Leaf. Um, Alright, I'm gonna go with Mega Drain. It should one-shot them. Or not one-shot them, but it should knock them out. We heal up a little bit more. We're definitely gonna be using an Aether on... Um, or an Elixir on a Articuno for that Razor Leaf. Because I don't know if we can get through the rest of the battles without them. And Kakuna, what is up with so many- a level 60 Kakuna! What is up with so many of these, like, tough battles, and they- they end up having Kakuna or Metapod? Um, honestly, just to save some, uh, power points from him... Well, nah, we're gonna use the Max Elixir anyway, um... Let's just go with the Razor Leaf, we're gonna- we're gonna Max Elixir anyway. So Agatha is down. Then we take on the final member of the Elite Four, Lance, the Dragon Master. Woohoo! You're something special, child. You win. I see what the old Duff sees in you now. I love that she calls Oak the old that old Duff. I have nothing else to say. Run along now, child. Wait. We're, we can still use items, right? It's not gonna make us... Like, I'm, I'm not touching the controller right now. It's making us move all the way. Okay, yeah. I was about to say, it doesn't take us right to Lance, does it? Okay, full restore on... Wait, we might not need to full restore anybody. Definitely gonna use the Elixir on a Cat Lover, though. Restores all PP. So it's... Max Ether is what restores all the um, power points for one move. Um... I still can't believe we lost Candle, though. Man, just seeing him fainted there, like... <sighs> Honestly, that's what I love so much about Nuzlocke, though. It makes it so much more intense. Otherwise, we would have probably had, like, 30 revives on us. We just revived him. Nothing to worry about. Now it's something to worry about. Alright, what's a good Lance voice? Maybe something Vegeta-esque. Oh, I heard about you, Jesus. 
I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know that dragons are mythical Pokemon. They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. Well, are you ready to lose? Your league challenge ends with me, Jesus. Jesus? Poor Candle. Oh, no. Oh. The thing is, though, once we beat the Elite Four and the Champion, it's going to show us in the Hall of Fame, and Candle will still be in the Hall of Fame, and he will always be remembered for it. Alright, we got Arbok up first. I honestly can't remember. We fought so many Arboks, honestly can't remember the typing. We're going to go in with uh, Catlover. I'm honestly just going to go ahead and do the, um... We're just going to do the Sleep Powder Growth. Uh, strategy again. Mega Punch does nothing. He outspeeds though. Arbok has really good speed, so we do have to watch out for crits, I guess. Yeah, I love just like the gym trainer and like Elite Four music too, but you'll see what I'm talking about with you. If you haven't heard the, uh, the champion battle or haven't heard it in a long time, you'll see what I'm talking about. It is so, so cool. And this version is better than any of the remastered ones, even though they have all these, like, added effects, and it just sounds more crisp and clean, I guess. Something about the, just, the 16-bit sound with, the, like, oh, it is just, it is amazing. Literally, when we get in the battle, I'm probably just gonna sit back and enjoy the music for a little bit, and then get into the battle. Alright, he's still asleep. I kind of just want to go for another growth, honestly. Is that five or four? Still asleep? Okay, yeah, let's just go in for the Mega Drain now, see if we can get our health up a little bit more. I was about to say, it's probably gonna one-shot with, uh, like, I remember, I don't remember Orbox type, but I remember it's, it's not, like, resistant to, uh, grass. Oh, Alakazam. Lance is gonna be easier than Agatha and Bruno were. Oh, I didn't mean to use Mega Drain, I meant to use Razor Leaf, but oh well, it's still gonna one-shot him. This is it, this is it! Catlover's- oh, he's- he's leveling up even more now. Alright, Nidoran, um... Wait, Nidoran male, that's still a fire type, but I mean, we, we already have those growths on, we don't need to switch. Also, seeing this Nidoran with, like, the, uh, the gender symbol next to it, it's making me, uh, or it's reminding me that in the, um, in the next gen, uh, they actually have the genders with every Pokemon you catch. And that kind of, that comes in really cool with like the nicknames you give them. Because sometimes you just come up with a good nickname and it happens to maybe not fit the gender, but then over time you just kind of get used to it. Like, I don't know, if you have a female Magmar that's, that's name is Bob or something like that. Like, I don't know, it's just like Bob the female Magmar. Like, it's just, it's just funny. Alrighty, using that Razor Leaf. Plus, I think the uh, genders do have something to do with stats as well. I swear I remember- ooh, that did nothing. What type is he that that did nothing, even with all these, uh, growths? Okay, Arcana might be something to worry about. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to put him to sleep. Didn't affect- okay. I'll put him to sleep, and then I'm gonna switch out. Didn't affect again? Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to heal after this one. Yikes, I spoke too soon. I guess Lance does have a mod we have to worry about. All he knows is Dizzy Punch, apparently, though. Alright, still going for sleep, though. Still didn't affect- okay. I don't know what kind of mechanics determine whether or not sleep works or not, but our canine is like... Okay, there we go, there's sleep. Um... Alright, let me do some thinking here. If grass isn't effective, he could be dragon, fire. Let's see, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to Guga Mosco. If he is dragon, ice punch should do a lot. And if he stays asleep, then we won't have anything to worry about really. I could always confuse too. Super effective. Okay, he's got to be dragon type then. Or he could also just be grass type, and that's why grass was like 
not very effective, and then Ice would be. Either way, Guga Mosco, I'm so glad we ended up teaching you Ice Punch. I knew when we got that TM, we would teach it to Amon, and it would end up coming in handy. Because if he is Grass, we didn't have anything else strong against him. Like, Sky Attack from Candle would have been the only other thing, and Candle's, you know, as we know, is gone. Uh, Hypno, let's, um... Let's just switch out back to... Let's, let's go to Pixie. We'll get in a good Solar Beam, it'll probably one shot on him. Yo, level 62, though. Alright, Solar Beam. Okay, Smog Mist. Okay, I was about to say, I forget. I always forget we have to, like, charge up Solar Beam. What if he uses something in the meantime? Not very effective? Zapdos may or may not have just joined the uh, candle. Okay, this Earthquaking Hypno is actually a lot to worry about. Um, he's going to take out Guga Mosco too. Okay, really our only choice, um, our only hope is to... Okay, this is really not looking good actually because we <laughs> we have to go up against the champion after this. Um, I'm going to full restore Cat Lover. Hopefully he doesn't knock out Dab in one hit. He's going to go for Earthquake, I know he is. No, he goes for Bone Club. Um, yeah, to switch out to Cat Lover. Uh, Earthquake shouldn't be very effective against him, I don't think. He's going for Smog. That is super effective, though. And Crit. And we're poisoned. Okay, I'm going to full restore right now. It's going to get rid of the poison. We're going to go all the way up to full health. Okay, I'm actually getting really nervous now. My, my hands are starting to get a little clammy, I think. Oh, we have three Mons. Oh my gosh. Okay, Smog Mist again. Sweet. Um, I'm just gonna go for Razor Leaf. I think he is Poison type, but he has to be Poison because it, it has to be Stab, and he's getting crit. He's got such high speed. He's getting crits. I'm Poisoned again. Razor Leaf, come on, come on, come on. Okay, Razor Leaf did a lot of damage. Okay, I'm not giving up yet. We still have Dab. Gosh, please don't crit, please don't crit. Okay, no crit. Man, it does so much less when it doesn't crit, that's insane. Okay, here we go, we just beat Lance. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I can't believe we lost Pixie and Guga Moscow. That's it. I hate to admit it, but you are a Pokemon master. Still can't believe my dragon's lost to you, Jesus. Jesus. You are now the Pokemon League champion. Or you would have been. But you have one more challenge ahead. You have to face another trainer. His name is... Me! He beat the Elite Four before you. He's the real Pokemon League champion. It's like he just beat the Poke the Elite Four and became champion, and we come in right after him, and then we're about to beat the Elite Four and become champion. Okay, um, even though Dab only lost a little health, we're still gonna you know heal him a little bit here. I'm not even gonna switch. There's no point in switch training to have Mario out. We're only gonna use Mario if we need to switch out so that um, you know we can heal up Cat Lover if we need to. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm actually getting really nervous now. Okay. I'm just gonna let the, the awesome music just pump me up, and we're gonna do this. He's not gonna get any really good Mons randomized. We are gonna do this. He's gonna get Caterpie and Weedle and Kakuna all the way. Hey, I was looking forward to seeing you, Jesus. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on the Pokedex, I looked all over for powerful Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type. And now... I'm the Pokemon League Champion. Jesus, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I'm the most powerful trainer in the world. Thanks, thanks for the, I got this, I got this. Here comes the music. It's 
just so good. All right, let's see what he's got first. Flareon, okay. He is Ice type. But, or maybe he's not Ice type, but he wasn't using Ice moves last time we battled him. Okay, there's Orvi. Okay, it didn't do near as much as, okay, and we got the Sleep Powder in. I was so glad we got that Sleep Powder in. Okay, stay asleep, we're gonna keep using Growth. Get up our special. He woke up already, okay. No worries, no worries. He's got high speed, but I still feel like Aurora Beam doesn't crit that often. Slip. Sleep works again. Oh yeah, that's my favorite part of the music. I'm just gonna keep using growth as much as we can, honestly. Yeah, he's still staying asleep. Okay, I'm feeling a lot more confident about this one now. Um, to be 100% safe, because he still would have to wake up, and he can't attack on the turn he wakes up in this gen. So I'm going to heal up. He's still asleep. Okay, nice. Okay, if Articuno didn't have sleep powder, I really wonder how a lot of this Nuzlocke would have gone on. Like, all these battles that we've used, the sleep powder growth technique... It may not have gone the, the same way. This should one shot no matter what. So much experience for that too. We might even level up one more time before the end of this fight. Okay, Cubone, that's nothing to worry about. One Razor Leaf, knock him out. Two down. Wait, that's not very effective though, but still. Oh man. Fire Blast, that's still not going to do much. No, it didn't do much at all. I'm worried though, like with Razor Leaf, it's going to take a couple. If we can get a crit though, I don't think that last one was a crit. If we can get a crit, it should do a lot more. That was a crit though, it did a little bit more. Pin Missile? Potentially something to worry about? Depending on how many times it hits is what I was going to say. Five times. Okay. It, even if he gets five times again, we still got this. Okay, yes. Wait, that wasn't even a crit and it still knocked him out. That's weird. I'm not complaining, but that's weird. Okay, Krabby. What type was Krabby? I'm just going to heal up just to be safe. Plus we have 20 full restores. There, I mean, there's no reason not to heal up. He is ice type. I had a feeling, I didn't want to jinx it by saying it, but I had a feeling he was. So it shouldn't be very effective, but still. My assumption is also that this Krabby has better attack than special, and that's why specifically the Aura Beam didn't do that much at all. Wait, was that Venusaur? Okay, so we know Venusaur is psychic. So without any resistances or anything, in like five or six growths, I can't remember how much we got, this might one-shot. He's got very high special though, so maybe not. Okay, Reflect raises... He just gained armor. I don't know if that means... I don't know if that means he gets more defense or more special. Actually, I guess just defense, because if it was special, then it would be so... I don't know. Alright, we're gonna have to use that max ether right now. To restore Razor Leaf. All the way up to 25. So yeah, we... I mean, this is the last battle. We're not going to need all 25. Kill him. Almost. Almost. Oh, he's using Amnesia. Raises his special. Man, he's really setting up, but like, he just... He doesn't have what it takes to take out a uh, Cat Lover. Alright, is this his final Pokemon now? Cat Lover Gorilla level, okay, sweet. Two more Pokemon, oh, he's got six total, I forgot. Was it ex Execute? Okay, he's bulky. I think we can still take him out, no problem, but he's a little bulky. Crit and not very effective, okay. Um, Confuse Ray could potentially be trouble. 
Nope, we, we got through it, okay. Ooh, that's another one, it wasn't very effective. The first one was a crit, and it did less than the one that... That just must be a high roll. Alright, last Pokemon. I didn't even see what it was, but... Onyx, nothing to worry about. That is game. That is game. We just completed the Pokemon Extreme Yellow Nuzlocke. Six, level 65 Onyx. If, if this was a level 65 Magmar, legit we may have lost the game. The only thing I could think is that if we just did Sleep Powder and it worked, um, still had the growths, we just put Sleep Powder on him so he couldn't keep using poison attacks. And if we did get hit with them, we just kept using full restores. Like, we could have gotten through it, but it may have been a lot more to worry about. Yo, watch us still lose. I'm just kidding. There's no way. And we're ending this with Articuno at 250 HP. That is insane HP. That does not happen in the normal games. Gotta thank the randomizer for that one. And he's our starter. How cool is that, that we... I mean, starters are usually kind of your strongest anyway, but sometimes in randomized ones, you start off with horrible Pokemon. In a Pokemon level, you can't choose your starter. Like, it's literally, you have one, it's just given to you. And we happen to get Cat Lover, the Grass-type Articuno. And it's just too cool. That's it. We did it. No, it can't be. You be my best. After all that work to become League Champ, my reign is over already. It's not fair. Well, you know what? Sometimes in the Pokemon world, things aren't fair. Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it! You're the new Pokemon League Champion. Although I don't like to admit it. And here comes... Oh! Jesus! So you won! Congratulations! You're the new Pokemon League Champion. You've grown up so much since you first left with Articuno. Aww, shout out to Articuno. Jesus, you have come of age. Me? <laughs> Me? I'm disappointed. I came when I heard you beat the Elite Four, but when I got here, you'd already lost. Me, do you understand why you lost? You haven't forgotten to treat your Pokemon with trust and love. Without them, you will never become a champ again. Jesus, you, un you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvelous. I just love Oak. I love Oak. What an amazing Pokemon professor. Jesus, come with me. Yeah, I like a lot of the other Pokemon professors. Professor Elm is pretty funny, but Professor Oak, he just loves Pokemon. He's such a good trainer. He's so smart. He In the anime, he does like his little Pokemon poetry and stuff, and everyone's like, ugh, but it's just so funny to see him do it. <laughs> Congratulations, Jesus. This flow is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. The Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Jesus, you have endeavored hard to become the new League champion. Congratulations, Jesus. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. Oh, I always love this moment. We get to see our Pokemon in the Hall of Fame. Cat Lover. Hall of Fame. Mario. Mario, you made it to the end, buddy. You are our lowest level and you had the lowest HP out of all our mods, but you made it to the end. Dab. I love you, man. I'm so glad you evolved uh, from Machoke into a mon that had high special. Candle. Words cannot describe what you've done for us, and we will always remember you. Yo, Gugamasco, you may have been with us for not very long, but I mean, you came in clutch with that ice beam, or the ice punch. Pixie, we used a Master Ball on you. You are a dragon type Zapdos, you have Solar Beam, and yeah, you may have, <laughs> we may have accidentally killed you pretty quickly, but I mean, hey, it, it was luck. It was just bad luck. Playtime, it says 22 hours, but I mean, we used the speed up button, so that's not, you know, actually how long it took. And there goes the credits. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure this is my first time playing through... Um, first gen, uh, well, definitely my first time doing first gen Nuzlocke. Um, I've done an extreme first gen before, but I never actually beat it. Um, so yeah, it's my first for a lot of things. Um, first 
finished Gen 1 Nuzlocke, first extreme Pokemon Gen 1 Nuzlocke I finished. And I think it really went really well. We lost 9 mods total. Um, could have been worse. I know when I did the Pokemon Gold Nuzlocke, it wasn't randomized or anything. I think I ended up losing about 3, so I lost a lot more in this one, but that's 100% because of the extreme randomizer, because you don't know what your opponent has. Normally, when it's not randomized, like, you can just kind of guess what type they have, or you just know what type they have. Um, there's not as much. I mean, there's still some surprises with what moves they might know, but yeah, it's just a lot less to worry about than It's pretty relaxing, like, end credits music, honestly. I'm gonna speed up just a little bit. The end. And then it just starts us over, basically. I'm, I'm pretty sure whenever you restart the game, it's just you're at a pilot town. And then basically the only post thing to do uh, once you beat Gen 1 is essentially just to go to the, uh, the Unknown Cave and uh, catch Mewtwo. But, uh, I don't plan on doing that. I'm just gonna go ahead and say right here. Alright, well, thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed playing through this. It, every bit of it was so much fun. We legit had such sad times losing certain mons, but we had such good times, like, in the end, just finishing it all with Articuno against all odds. And uh, going up against Pokemon that were way higher level, but we still managed to pull through. Um, yeah, so now that this is done, I do plan on doing Pokemon Crystal in an Extreme Nuzlocke, uh, which it should be fun. Like I said, I have done a uh, Gold Nuzlocke before, so same gen. But um, this will be my first time doing, you know, the Extreme version of it. So I'm really looking forward to it. Um, honestly, I might not start it tomorrow night. Um, I'm still somewhat working on the layout. It's basically finished, though. Um... I'm just taking somewhat of a break, uh, just kind of in between. Uh, I'll still be working on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Lock series, though. Um, but I'll definitely update my Twitch to show when I'll be doing the Extreme Crystal. And uh, I, I really hope forward to, or I look forward to seeing you guys there. Um, so yeah, thanks again for watching. Uh, make sure you follow. Every follow counts. We're trying to make it to that, that 50 goal. I mean, we may only be at 8% right now, but I mean, that's still 8%. It's something... I believe that we can get to 50 in no time. So I hope you have an awesome night. Pixie, thank you so much for sticking around. You know, sorry again about losing Pixie to Zapdos, but hey, he was still in the Hall of Fame. It still counts as him being a part of it. I mean, basically, yeah, if we actually look at our, um, if we actually look at everyone now, it should have automatically healed them. Oh, no, it didn't. They're still knocked out. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, well, they will, they will always be remembered in our hearts either way. But yeah, once again, I know I keep saying it, but thank you guys so much. This series has been awesome. It'll be my first completed series on stream, and uh, I'm looking forward to doing a lot more. You guys have an awesome